I'm going to show you how to tie the figure eight follow through loop. This is the recommended knot for tying into a climbing harness when you're on lead or doing top roping because it is the most stable knot and that's what everybody uses out there. So what you do is you're going to need to give yourself quite a bit of tail on the running end because the follow through eats up a lot of rope. And first you need to start off with the figure eight knot. The figure eight knot is just like an overhand knot where you start with the loop, but instead of taking the running end and passing it straight up, you loop around one more time and drop it through. And that way you should have a figure eight knot. You do not want just a simple overhand knot that's not gonna cut it. So you need the figure eight knot. So this is critical to starting correctly as you create the loop. And some people just twist it, but I just lift over and drop my running end through the hole and then pull it like this to create the figure eight knot. It's very strong and capable. And then, the running end, you loop it through both of the leg loop and the waist loop. You do not ever tie into the belay loop when you are lead climbing. The belay is for the belayer, but tie into both of these. If you want to die, use this. Otherwise, <clears throat> you pass it through both just like this. So you can see there, it is through both, and your life literally depends on you doing this. Tie it through both, and now you come up here, and you'll see that we're already set up to do this figure eight follow through. And what I do is I snug this knot pretty close to my harness, and then we'll, uh, we'll tie it with the left hand here. But what you literally do is you follow the track of the running end back, through the knot. So what we're gonna do is go through here. Oops, so I don't drop it. We're gonna go through here. I'm gonna pull it through. Okay, and then you can just see how I'm going to trace the running end around. Trace the running end through here. I need to tighten this just a little bit more. Trace the running in through here, and then pass it through as you go around. Drop it through there. And everything should start looking very pretty and symmetric. It is very important. And then the rope comes around like this. Just like that, and then you can see the only one left on the single is right here, and you pass it through, and you come up, and then you begin tightening or dressing the knot, making sure that this knot is symmetric. See, I've got a little messed up here. You want to twist it around. You want to make sure this knot is perfect and beautiful and symmetric because if it's not and you've got a loose loop here, when you fall on this, it will become so difficult to untie, it was like, it'll drive you absolutely bonkers. So that is the figure eight follow through. And a lot of people, what they do is they add an extra stopper knot on the end, just for an extra safety, but more to control the tail because this thing will flail around and whip you right in the face and you don't want to have that happen. So a lot of people will tie an extra knot. Also another option is to, if you're really paranoid, is to use the half of a fisherman's bend. And that actually connects and keeps the rope a bit, much better under control. I don't see any climbers using this, but if you're doing a class and they suggest that, that is a great safe way to go. And this is the figure eight follow through loop on a climbing harness through the leg loop and the waistband loop, never the belay loop. 
I will tie that one more time just to show you. See how hard it is to get the figure or the uh, half a fisherman's been undone. That's why nobody does it. It's too frustrating. So I will take it apart and you can see me disassemble this knot. Now that I've tightened it, and the way to loosen this thing is to break its neck. I know it sounds kind of terrible, but that's how you do it. So when it gets too tight, instead of just trying to pull through, if you take this top loop and just push it down here, then you'll be able to get the running end out. I'm trying not to take off my tag there. Pull it through, run this guy through here. Okay. And then run it out. And then you would simply, when you're done with this, you would actually just hand the figure eight knot to the next climber. That way you don't take this apart, but always inspect the knot to make sure it is correct because your life does depend on it. So again, I will create the figure eight knot, just loop through here, come around so you can already see the eight shape and then drop the running end through here. And you should have a beautiful symmetric figure eight knot on both sides. And then I always run from the bottom up rather than the top down. That way it's easier for me to hold the rope and it doesn't fall through and I'm not fighting it. It is very handy there. And again, you can see I'm going to follow the course around, come around here, loop around and we'll chase this strand right there. Drop it through, make sure everything is nice and symmetric, come around and then finish chasing off the standing part right here and just pull it through and just be very gentle and slow because there's no rush. This is not an emergency. Your life literally depends on this knot not coming apart. Lynn Hill got distracted, one of the best female climbers in the world. She only half tied this, put the line through, went climbing, she took a 30 plus foot fall it's amazing she didn't die, thank goodness. And then I just finish it off with that overhand knot here. And there you go, the figure eight follow through loop knot for climbing. It is the absolute recommended knot on the end of a climbing rope when you are the one doing the climbing. That follow through figure eight knot is super critical for climbing because this is the only generally accepted knot to finish off your tie-in to a rope when you're doing top roping, lead climbing, sport, trad, mountaineering, whatever. And it does take some effort to take it apart and put it together. But because your life literally depends on this thing not coming apart, it really, really matters that you tie this knot correctly. There you go, figure eight follow through with a loop to tie into your climbing harness. My name is Aaron Linsdow, I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links below in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition One, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, which features the figure eight follow through knot on page 36, as well as my books on the Total Eclipse, the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides. And please check out my shows and the links in the description to my show Antarctic Tears and World Beyond. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can learn how to tie the knots correctly so you can go climbing safely and adventure in your life.